Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder. I'm back with another little project. I'm just putting a roof rack on my van. I bought a new van, so I thought new van, new roof rack. Well, I had to really because I sold the other roof rack with the vehicle. This is a Vanguard roof rack. That's what I had before, quite happy with it. It served me well, so I thought I might as well buy another Vanguard. The great thing about the Vanguard roof racks is they're made for your van. They, they've got the plates that basically are made according to whatever van you've got. So you just put in your registration number, they work out which van you got, or you can put in the details of it. And then all these metal plates are made specifically to suit your particular van. So here's Here's the plate and there's a rubber strip to go on the bottom of the black steel bracket. Here are the brackets that are laser cut on a CNC machine at Vanguard, very impressive looking machine. And that sits on there. These are the plugs that come out the top of the vehicle. Take those out, keep those in case you ever need to take the roof rack off at any time. If you want to sell the van or whatever. And then those simply bolt on in place. All the bolts provided. So what we need here is we need a shake proof washer and a ordinary penny washer and then a rubber washer. So that rubber washer goes on top of the bracket so that we're sealing the hole. I'm just tightening it up now. Just do the majority of the tightening with this wrench, but I need a torque wrench to give it the final tightening. It's around about eight Newton meters, I think. It's on the instructions anyway, but if you torque them up, that's the best way talk everything up these days so that's one side done do the other side same game put all the brackets on you can see at the front here we've got room for just a single hole so that bracket at the front is not a two hole bracket for some reason i don't know quite why that is but the majority of the weight i guess is on those back six fixings that you've got but it's important obviously that you never exceed the safe working load and that safe working load of your roof rack is in your vehicle instructions shape proof washer on first plate washer on next rubber washer on and then through the hole in the bracket and i'm just giving it a little torque up hello here's steve he's dropped in So this is the side rail, it clips on. I'm just having a little bit of trouble with the first one, working out how it clips on, but I think I've got it now. So that's on. I've only lightly clipped it at this point because I want to be able to adjust it up or down according to where my roller bar is going to go on the back doors because I like the roller bar to be sticking out slightly so that I can lean the ladders against the back of the vehicle without scratching the doors or touching the top bit so once i've fitted all the side bars and i've fitted that roller bar in i'll slide the roof rack up and down on the rails before i finally fix it in place and to fix it in place it's just a question of pushing down those side clips and they operate a cam which actually locks into the side channel into the aluminium and it when i say locks in it kind of crimps inside the aluminium so you get a very very slight distortion of the aluminium where it locks in so it's not going to slide up or down basically once it's in there and it's locked in those positions that's a very very secure you can see i'm just sliding the rails up so that they meet each other because they have to be bolted up in the middle you can see that i'm just struggling to work out how to get it on there it's easy enough to do i mean i'm making a meal of it really but so you know when you first start things there you are clicks in place and then that lever goes over and i'm just going to leave that lever in that position there i'm not going to push it fully down because as i say if you do it's impossible to move those bars along so that one's got to be just push the two edges up, get the bolt going through the middle. This is the bolt for the rear roller. Shake proof washer, and that's the insert that goes inside the rear roller. That's like the bearing, if you like. And then that clips into the side rail and on the other side as well. That one locks in place. You just have to get that nut adjusted properly. Shake proof washer's got to go on the other side underneath the bolt head. Once it's locked in there, it doesn't come out because it's got like a captive slot, if you like. So nicely designed, nicely engineered this lot. I really like it. I like the fact it's made for the van. Every single van's different. That's it, good and solid. That's going nowhere. Now you can see I'm just nudging that bar up slightly. 
So this is the instruction booklet and this shows you my van, which is the L2, the long wheelbase model. And it gives you the dimensions for all the intermediate bars. The bars which are fixed to the brackets, which fix to the roof are obviously fixed. They're in accordance with where the brackets are. But then the bars that go in between those bars, they simply clip in place. A lovely little system. This has got these lovely aerodynamic aero bars, they call them. They're wedge shaped, so the wind resistance on them is greatly reduced. There shouldn't be hardly any drag on this. You can see that the bar goes in there. Okay, I'm just measuring up the distance between the bars according to the instruction booklet. And then just have a quick look, check the dimensions. Quite honestly, I can't imagine it's that critical getting those in place. I might as well do it according to the instructions in case there's some logic that I don't know. The thing about these roof racks is they've been tested. They've been crash tested. So they put them on a vehicle, they crash the vehicle and they see what happens. So there's a lot of G-force. If you're in an accident with a roof rack on and that lot shifts forward, it needs to be up to the job because you can do a lot of damage, all the ladders coming off the roof and like spears through the vehicle in front. So it's not a great idea. So you really need to make sure you've got something safe to carry a load on. Every tradesperson who's got a roof rack has got a roof rack story to tell. A friend of mine, he had some doors tied to the top of his vehicle and he heard a noise and he looked in his rear view mirror and he could see these doors cartwheeling their way down the motorway and he saw this motorcycle swerve to avoid this door that was coming at him. I don't think the motorcyclist was that pleased really. But that little incident, that kind of thing does make you think twice about what you're doing, you know, because you could just very, very easily kill somebody. So there's a tube carrier. It's got a special lining inside it so that you don't scratch your conduit. It's really for electricians. You can get the unlined version for the rough plumber, but I've got the lined one. That's gonna be tucked in nicely beside that rail, which will leave room for the eight by four sheets. That's the rear lockable flap. And these are the fixing bolts, of the tube carrier that just slide into the channel. There are four of those. So two bolts front, two bolts back and a couple of top hat brackets to go around the rails, basically. And there's the top hat bracket that goes under the track. And you can see now, fix it in position, put the little nuts on. Who needs a spanner? Look at it. Torque wrench. That's the tube carrier on. Everything's in position. Jobs are good. And that's the lockable compartment at the back. So I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come back soon. We've got more stuff coming up. We've got more how-tos, tool tests. Become a subscriber. You can keep up to date with everything that's going on on Skill Builder.